A potential government shutdown is just one day away, and it doesn't appear there is enough time left to prevent it. Thanks for sticking with us here at 530. I'm Shay McAllister. And I'm Doug Profit. Lawmakers are back on Capitol Hill today, but Speaker Kevin McCarthy still doesn't appear to have enough of his own Republican members on board to pass a short-term spending bill. Here's ABC's Liz Sanders in Washington with more. Congress has just about one day left to pass some kind of spending bill to fund federal agencies or a devastating shutdown impacting millions of military and federal workers could occur, a situation looking much more likely to happen. The bill is not passed. Speaker Kevin McCarthy calling votes on a short-term spending bill that would keep the government open until October 31st, but several hardline Republicans in the House blocked it. What is the logical next step? Keep working and make sure, uh, make sure we solve this problem. Those conservative lawmakers oppose a funding bill that gives billions more to Ukraine while demanding increased funding for the southern border. Overnight, in the last 11 hours, the Republican border position has gotten weaker through this continuing resolution. That's why I'm voting against it. Even if a bill can pass the House, it's unlikely to pass in the Senate, where they introduced their own bipartisan 45-day stopgap funding bill. The White House estimates that 3.5 million federal workers will have to go without pay if the government shuts down, including more than 1 million active duty members of the military. When the House fails to fulfill its most basic function. If it fails to fund government by tomorrow, we'll have failed all our troops. It's a disgrace. And in addition to military personnel, a potential shutdown would also affect TSA agents, air traffic controllers at airports, and American families in need of food assistance programs. In Washington, Liz Landers, ABC News. Today, Louisville's representative and the U.S. House of Representatives, Morgan McGarvey, took to the House floor saying no one benefits from a government shutdown. Kentuckians cannot afford a shutdown. 119,884 Kentucky moms and babies will lose access to vital nutrition assistance. And nearly 556,000 SNAP recipients lose access to their benefits in a prolonged shutdown. 10,672 federal civilian workers in my district could be furloughed or have to work without pay. These are real consequences to Republicans' harmful actions. Once again, the government shut down the deadline midnight on Saturday, just 30 and a half hours from now if no deal is reached.